Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. And if you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, a short TA update about Bitcoin. All kinds of cool charts about Bitcoin. You don't want to miss all of the charts. Watch the video till the end. And yes, use the links down below the videos. That's why I post them there. It's all cool information to digital nomad insurances to traveling with Bitcoin to signing up to buy bit all of these links down below click them they are not there for nothing now let's quickly jump into some amazing charts that you want to see today full analyze of Bitcoin bam over here we start off this uh, four hour chart of course the bam bam indicator telling us oh it's getting a little bit reddish uh, we are with a white line on the bottom of the bam bam we are now at level 40 um, if you zoom out then we know that this is a very low level because if you look to the left yeah, you see this white line you see that these levels are low levels from those low levels we go up again so there will be a moment the market will turn around I believe that there is still an upside move that we are missing. The upside move to 35 to 37k, somewhere in there. And um, we can see that the Bollinger Band, look, every time when it's like tight like that, it's becoming tight again, there will be a breakout. So hopefully that breakout will uh, show us that 36k in the future. Always wait for confirmations. Uh, the candle is down below the yellow stepping line. There is water, the blue line is below. So there would be a good confirmation for short. But in an uptrend market, in a market that we are going into bull run, shorting is not my favorite thing to do. Okay, now let's quickly bam zoom out to the next one. This is a day chart. On the day chart, you can see what I was talking about in yesterday's video. Yesterday, I told you guys, yeah, if you look in the day chart, you can see this bull flag, and that bull flag is still there, of course. And that bull flag is here, that white line. You see, it's the pole, and then we have this flag. And mostly, when we break out of a bull flag, we break out to the upside. And mostly, you break out with the length of the pole. So something like this uh, would bring us to. Yeah, 37,000. So, um, is this a valid bull flag because it's taking very long? Yeah, it still probably is. If it's taking too long, then I don't see this as a bull flag anymore. But this could be very beautiful. Yes, you can count the wicks or the bodies, but we are inside of this flag and there will be a moment we break out. The thing is that we see the dotted white line as well on the uh, daily chart. And now you're asking me, yeah, what is that dotted white line? I'm going to show you. Look, these are like long term trend lines. That I draw, I drew a long time ago. That dotted Y line is the one that's coming from the first bull market top. You know that one um, in April 2021. We reached a beautiful level um, of 65k. From that moment, if you draw that down again here to the top, here to the top, you can see that there's a a, a a line that had like top. Here it had support, resistance, resistance. And again here resistance this is from the first bull cycle top that went down we broke that already so this is the second part of resistance that you can expect so that it exactly lining out with what we see at the moment we are seeing resistance at that line and that is what uh, we need to break through um, if you look at the rsi we were at the top we are going uh, down a little bit in RSI, but we can come up again, of course. You know how the RSI works. MACD is still reddish, it should turn greenish to become more bullish and break out to that top. Bam. Next chart. Yeah, zooming out slowly, this is the weekly chart. On the weekly chart, we can see how beautiful we created the bottom on the left. High, higher low, higher high, higher low. We should be creating a higher high. Yes, this is already a higher high, but that's like $800 higher than the previous higher high. I don't consider it as a higher high. I want to see a higher high. Like, I want to see the 35K higher light, that orange dotted line. This is now a one, two, three, four. Four weeks in a row, we tested at 30, um, um, 1, 400 level. This week, we didn't test it yet. So let's see. If we fall down, we fall down to the red line first, the 200 weekly moving average, of course, uh, which is around nine, uh, 29, 998, almost 30k. And if we break that, yes, then um, the next high low, the previous high low should become support. Because if we, if we break that, then we break the whole model of higher lows and then we can pull back even further. Yes, to that green line, for example, which is now around 28,900. Okay, bam. 
we zoom out a little bit more now we get into the monthly chart yes we keep zooming out today it's a zoom out day no we already had the short term now we go into the monthly on this monthly chart guys we can see uh, that bitcoin is moving like it has always been moving and like i've been sharing this chart already for a very long time and i've been telling you look the halving is in april 2024 if we look at all the numbers of all the previous bull runs then but the next stop will be halving plus 17 months that will be around september 2025 because if you look to the previous times halving plus 17 months that was the top halving plus 17 months that was the top only the first time 12 months so there's a big chance it will be in september 2025 and it's not only the halving it's also the bottom if you look at the bottom um, to the next top that was 34 bars 35 bars in the previous one 33 bars if we calculate now 33 bars that would be um also september 2025 why 33 bars because we had 35 34 33 Sept september 2025 do we have more bars in line yes here bottom to the halving that was 18 bars bottom to the halving the next time was 17 bars and this time it was 16 bars these are all in line now if you ask me when is the new all-time high going to be there then you can also look at these numbers the previous time from the bottom to the all-time high was 27 bars now this second time was um, in total 24 bars now if this one is going to be for example 23 bars uh, then the new all-time high should be somewhere in october 24 so october 24 yes we can go higher than the previous 70k but the top will be later that is what this chart is showing you uh, also teaching you to zoom out the thing that we're waiting on on this chart is the orange line needs to cross the blue line to the top so we can see over there and um, here the orange line crossed the blue line to the top that was the start of the massive um, parabolic run here when the orange line crossed the blue line to the top parabolic run this orange line needs to cross the blue line to the top will this happen during the halving or just after the halving or just before the halving we don't know but when those cross that will be the start of the parabolic run to the top in my opinion around september 2025 Whew, breathe next chart this chart is a beautiful chart and look into bitcoin mm. you check their website there's a lot of cool charts on this website um this one let me show you like this is the mvrv z score and it's a very simple chart um if you understand it let's see if my face is still in the right place now yeah it's okay i'll put it in the middle here for you guys it's very simple to understand it's whenever we are in the green areas we should be buying bitcoin always i've been saying this not already for years and years and years but people are just too lazy to look at these charts green area is buying we're not gonna die bitcoin is not gonna stop you should die green areas i told you you should be buying you should you would have bought the whole bear market bottom now we left that green area does that mean that you're too late you're not too late why are you not too late look to the chart you're too late when we are close to that pinkish area because if you go into a pinkish area like you can see there that's when you sell here that's when you sell you can see that around the top the distribution top uh, made sure that we didn't go high peak into the pinkish area but still uh, we touched it moment to sell every time we are now here we are at the bottom here we are zero, 0 0.77 we, we need to go to the levels of eight to be able or maybe between six and eight to be start selling this is the ultimate moment to buy into the new bull market cycle it's very simple just look at the colors green is buying red is selling now if you look at the r huddle um, also on the look on the bitcoin guys on this beautiful website um, there now you can see it better we can see exactly the same should you be buying or selling in the green you buy in the green you buy in the green you buy we just left that green can we go sideways a little bit yes but this is the moment you buy the moment we come close to these levels of uh, 10 or 100 here on the top that is the moment you start selling when the orange goes near or into the pinkish here last time we didn't reach the pinkish but that's why your dollar cost average out 
you start to sell when you get near and more and more and more when you get in. Very important chart. Good moment to buy. You're not too late. Last chart, guys. Bam. Also, on look onto Bitcoin, guys. This one is a very important chart. This is a, a two-year moving average. So, um, wait. I need to put the chart a little bit different that you can see all the data. Maybe you can see the data now. Yes. So, um, what you can see is the Bitcoin price is the black line. Uh, we have the moving average, two-year moving average is the green line, and we have the two-year moving average times five, which is the red line. And if you look at this chart, you can also see that it's the perfect moment to buy. Because if you look, every time when that black line comes below the green line over here, that's the bear market you should be buying. Below the big green line, bear market you should be buying. Below the green line, that's the bear market you should be buying. We are still below the green line. Are we going to go to the top, to that red line, 160k? Nah, we don't know. Maybe we can only go to 100k. Like here we go also, and also a little bit down below it. So it's all possible. But if you buy at these levels of 30k and we go to 100k, that's still times 3.3 of your capital. So it's a very important chart to understand because every time it's working out the same. When we go near the red line, start to sell. Near the red line, start to sell. Near the red line, start to sell. And yes, you can miss the blow of top with the big part of your portfolio but it doesn't matter because you took profit you need to take profit profit is profit very simple chart now bam that was everything for today i hope it was a very clear ta video 12 minutes uh, i will do another walk and talk tomorrow again where i will talk about what happened to us in the netherlands uh, what i thought about the netherlands it's not my most positive video probably tomorrow about the netherlands but i will make that video tomorrow when i'm walking the beach or walking nature um because the, yeah it's, it's a strange situation over there i can tell you that now um hope you really enjoyed this one if you did give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment let me know down below what you think about these charts and also click down below to show uh, me your love by clicking my links to for example buy it you show me your love i also tell that to my wife uh, she is not falling for it maybe you will thank you for watching see you tomorrow again <laughs> bam